Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will learn about strings in Java. What are strings? How we can use them? What are the different methods available? Why it is called immutable? Why we can't modify it? And many other topics. Strings are basically, you can say in the simplest of term, is a chain of characters. So let's say you have characters A, M, I. When you will join them as a chain, it will be known as string. So this is an example of string, simple example. We can easily create strings in Java, but at first, strings are called immutable, that is, they cannot be modified. That is, once created, you cannot change strings, which is quite different from you can say string buffer, because string buffer allows you to change the string even after creating it. So, let's see the difference. Guys, here it is string versus string buffer. String is basically for fixed length. It is it doesn't represent fixed length. It is growable. If we cannot create modifiable strings with string class because obviously it cannot be modified, and the opposite goes for string buffer. Immutable character sequence, I told you once created, you cannot edit the character sequence, but here we can edit it. It is thread save, it is non thread save. So these are some simplest examples. Now let's move further. So basically strings, you can say string class is provided for string basically to work with strings, create constructors, work around string methods and it implements strings as object of class string. Okay, so this is fine now. Now let's move further and let us see some live running examples. Uh, how we can create an empty string. We will also see a full fledged example after that. So, here let's say we are creating a string student. So, to create an empty string, we use new. To create a string, we use new operator. And herein, we created an empty string because we haven't added anything here. Now, let's move further. Let's create a string object. So, Let's say we have string named message. Use the new string and add any value in it. So this will be our string like in array of characters. Let's say studypedia provides free tutorials. Okay guys, so here we have created it. Semicolon. Now you can use this in another way. So this is how we can also create strings. Okay, so let us now see a full fledged example. So guys, we have installed Java 15 on this system. We will create a program on this system. Let us first see the version, check the version, go to start, type CMD, open it. Type java hyphen hyphen version command and let's see the version we are having. So here it is java 15.0.1. Let's minimize. So guys, our programs we have created on the on the desktop. You can create it anywhere on your system. Double click. We created Amit programs folder. Under that we have two programs. Example 1.java, example 2.java. We ran both of them under arrays of java. Now right click and create a new java program. Right click new text document. I'll give the name example 3 and I'll remove the extension. Add dot Java extension. Press enter. It is asking you that you want to change the file name extension. Yes. Go to yes. Click yes. Now you have your Java file. Right click. Edit with Notepad++. You can use any editor. Now let us print. So guys, if you want to learn that what are these access modifiers? And what is this publish static void min? You can refer the link in the description where we have shown how to install Java 15 and run your first program in Java on Windows 10. So guys, now let us print our string. So herein guys, we are displaying a string. Let's print it now.
here it is guys let's save it with control s now let us run it go to cmd now we will reach the amit programs folder it's on the desktop press enter now here and use the dir command you can see all the files are visible of our folder amit programs here it is we want example 3 dot java so let's clear the screen first java c to compile the java program i hope you know this is how we compile example 3 dot java press enter so we have shown the name as example 1 okay it's example 3 because it should be the same with the file name the class name should be the same with file name example 3 dot java control s save it we have done the changes run it again java c example 3 dot java press enter we compiled it now we will run it i hope you know the command press enter you can see our, our string is visible now let us now let us do some additions herein let us add some value let's say i'll add add it dear learners comma and the same message now i'll print it i have saved it control s compile it using java c now run it and you can see we have modified okay so here i should remove this now it's fine save and run it again compile and run look we have added the text so guys basically we have seen how we can run a first program in strings java strings now let's move further and let's see how we can concatenate concatenation is basically performed using concat method so we will create two strings let's say so herein we will concatenate let's see our example here let's say i'll concatenate let's remove this so we have our string message above let's say message is equal to message dot concat for all now it will print study beta provides free tutorials for all using the concat method we have concatenated it now let's print it message uh, let's say i'll add it to final string okay let's add it to string now i have saved it using control s now let's go to here java c example 3 dot java press enter now let's run it press enter you can see final string is study video provides free tutorials for all we can add a space here let's say i'll add here control s now i'll compile it again now run it here you can see study video provides free tutorials for all this is how we concatenated it okay so now let's move to another program so here we created a string and here we concatenate it now let's get the length of the string using the length method length method use length so we will implement the same in the same example so let's say we are finding the length of the final one message it's very easy let's say i'll consider a variable int str length because length will be numbers i'll type it message dot length and that's it now i'll print the length okay now let's control s save it let's go to the command prompt java c example 3 dot java 
uh, we forgot we forgot the semicolon save it again run it again let's clear it java c example 3 dot java now compile it we compiled it now run it here you can see the string length is 42 we found out using the length method so we saw how we can work with strings in java what are strings why it is called immutable how we can create an empty string how we can create a string object how we can concatenate and how we can find the length in the upcoming videos we will learn about other operations like shown in here the following methods we will learn about all of them one by one we will also add this link in the description so that you can learn more about strings in java so guys in this video we saw how we can work with strings in java if you like the video stay tuned subscribe and share thank you